Howdy to the Fruities, it's Navenger, and today I am bringing another Halo 4 commentary. The background gameplay is Ricochet on Simplex, it was a pretty fun game, so I hope you guys enjoy. What I want to talk about in this video today was some gaming news that has come up over the past couple of days. As a lot of you may or may not have heard, uh, AGL10 and in Indy is thinking about being a Halo 3 tournament instead of a Halo 4. The guys over at AGL are just trying to figure out something to get more teams to come. I think at this point, if it was a Halo 4 tournament, I think about 8 or 10 teams would have shown up, which isn't a lot at all, especially you know for a game that like Halo 4 that has such low numbers in general. You know, so that's not good. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to bring back the past, the good times from Halo, from Halo 3 when it was in its prime, and they're trying to get more teams to come, which could be a good strategy. It could also not be such a great strategy. I could see, you know, three weeks out from a tournament, you don't want to switch the game up completely. It's a whole different game, different strategy. Teams would have to practice new things. But on the other hand, you could get a lot more teams to come, and I think it would be a lot more fun to watch. I know I was watching last night, uh, Snipe Down, was he was with uh, his team ambush and they were scrimming classic yeah they're scrimming classic last night and that was a really fun scrim to watch it brought back so many memories I went after the scrim was over I went and I watched on YouTube the highlights from MLG Halo 3 and some of those things were just they were awesome sent you know chills down your spine just seeing some of the gameplay and so I think that would be really cool if they did it I have not really paid attention to Halo 4 since I started playing COD and if they did this, I would definitely make sure to watch and, you know, yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun if AGL 10 was a Halo 3 event. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. More info will come out soon, hopefully, and we'll just see where this all goes. But personally, I think it would be a good idea. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll see. The second thing I want to talk about was, what was it? Gfinity. Gfinity is this weekend. It's a Call of Duty tournament over in London. For those of you that are not aware of the COD scene, Gfinity, uh, it's not huge. It's not like MLG. Well, I guess you could sort of consider it, or not consider it, but compare it to MLG. But it's not like COD Champions where $400,000 is on the line or anything like that. It's a, I think, $30,000 tournament. And last time, Complexity won, I believe, or TCM, one of the two. TCM is a European team. Well, anyway, that is this weekend. Uh, a lot of a lot of teams are going to be there. A lot of North American teams as well as a lot of European teams are there. I think the North American teams that are going are Optic Gaming, Complexity, Unite, TK, and there's one more. What's the last one? I don't remember. All right, well, I don't remember. I said Unite. Uh, whatever. It'll come to me, like, at the end of this commentary probably but uh so yeah a lot a couple five north american teams are going a lot of european teams i think it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of the teams are flying over today from north america they're going over today and they're going to be staying i think two days before you know the tournament starts so they can get their sleep set sleep schedule adjusted i am having serious trouble right now and so that they can just get accustomed to being over in london so that's cool i wish i could be there you know i think i've always wanted to go over to london just in general but to see a tournament over there and see a lot of the European teams would be really cool I'm gonna be watching this weekend it's gonna be some weird start times because it's in Europe uh, I think it starts at like 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time the tournaments do which is a little bit ridiculous but I mean if you're dedicated you want to get up that early knock yourself out more power to you I do not believe I will be getting up that early to watch but you never know we will see but I'm expecting big things from that tournament I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch you can really learn a lot of things about Call of Duty from watching that tournament. Because the way they have it set up, it's they've got a CODcaster mode. For you Halo guys, that's just kind of their theater mode. But except you can you have the scoreboard at the top, you have the mini-map on the right. You can have the player list, see all their score streaks that they're on, or kill streaks. It's really it's a great feature. I hope Halo 5 has that, but I digress. Um, so you can really learn a lot from watching the minimap, seeing where the players are going, what positions they take, the starting routes that they go off on, and it's really, really cool to see. And you know, it's just it's good production, good gameplay, very exciting. And even if you're not a COD person, maybe you could watch it and see for yourself. You might you might learn something new and think about picking up Black Ops too. However, picking up Black Ops two might not be the best idea. And that segues. See what I did there into my third topic of gaming news which is cod ghost cod ghost will be released in less than a month now i believe i don't exactly remember the release date november 5th 
I think. Uh, I'm really excited for that. I'm excited for a new game to be out, a fresh game. I started playing COD and trying to be good at it, you know, real late in Black Ops 2. And so I think with a fresh game and a fresh start, you know, from day one, I can be trying to get better at the game. And I think it'll really help. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Continue to plan on playing it and just enjoying it. And so we'll see what happens. I really expect high things from it, and I think it's going to be a great game. Anyway, guys, that's it for this gaming news commentary. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Victory.